Hello folks. Well, during the winter months, I'm always trying to keep busy with projects and most of you know about them. Well, tonight I'm going to show you two of my several favorite music machines. They are the Casio 701 Barcode Reader Synthesizer and the Suzuki Q Chord Synthesizer. I really love all these old music machines and please remember this Casio was produced in 1981. This was before cell phones and even Windows computers by 14 years when Windows 95 first came out. Well the Casio 701 is where I'm going to start tonight because it's so unusual. It was so cool because it could read music with barcodes with an MS code reader. But alas, I had to fix a couple of start-stop switches first. These are the most used switches on it, and they're also carbon pressure sensitive switches, so I had to look around to find something with two switches in it that would work. First, take a look at the machine and see what's in before I attempt the repair. Much of what you see is solid state and pretty interesting, which again was built in 1981. This unit sort of survived the fire because it was on top of a piano in the basement and it didn't burn, but the smoke damage probably got to it. Everything was ruined, uh, damp too because of the water. So I first looked to see if I could see where the switches were on the circuit board and even it was possible to change them, which it's not. And not worth it anyway for me to try to do it. So I went ahead and tested my theory to see if I could turn on the unit with the 470 ohm res resistor. When I say turn on, I mean start the music playing or the drum beat starts. That's the two switches that <laughs> were wore out. Well, that looks like the circuit right there. There's two switches. I would bet if I momentarily short that out, it will start playing. So let's see. Starts and stops, it's there. Okay, got another switch over here that is used a lot too. So I'm wondering if I touch these two, if this starts going to start playing. It does. So I'm going to put a switch there too. Shut it off. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, after determining that that would work, I located a switch set up from a power timer and modified it. I then mounted it inside the organ as shown. I wired up the unit and soldered the wires, so let's see how it works. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is program in these barcodes to this Beatles song uh, called Goodbye. There's the other book which also has the music so you can play along with it, along with the other books that I have here. Now in order to do this, we turn on Memory Play and we get the uh, zeros right here and MS and that turns on this scanner. Now, you can look in there and you can see just a slight blue light down in there. So, this is the pitch, the length, and the chords. So all you have to do is go across like this. Makes that noise. If you miss or mess up, it goes that noise. And that's it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Since I always have to play with myself, let's see if this thing, whoops, see if this thing will work. So we got this thing set on. Uh, it's gonna play "Goodbye." It's an old Beatles song, you know, kind of easy to play for an old band like me, you know, with a broken, sliced up finger. <laughs> I'm lucky I couldn't even do anything here. Alright, let's go ahead and try it. So we'll put on memory play. 
And now my set button is now the memory play button and the on off button here marked is the on off for the uh, rhythm and chord section. We're just going to go ahead and play it with just to uh, see if it's going to work. First of all, here goes set button. Oh, 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 yeah. When you touch this little bar here, get a fill in. Alright, let's try the memory play. This is the Suzuki Q chord. It is absolutely amazing. It has a strum plate here that is sensitive to your fingers and uh, touches. You can set beats. You can play all kinds of stuff. I'll give you a quick little demo here. Uh, first thing you'll like want to do is set a beat. So I've got this set right now for country. And uh, if I go ahead and start it. There's the beat I've got going on. And we're going to use vibes on this and just start playing a little bit of uh, a little uh, blues period action here. Here we go. I can change, say, to uh, organ.
Now, let's go ahead and try something a little harder. Here we go. We'll do this. Strings, here we go. Piano. Car. Please check out some of my other videos like the Sing Tricks, my mini guitar amp, my electronic drums, and more. And thanks so very kindly for watching tonight, and God bless. This is Dave the Night Flyer, signing off till next time. Mm -hmm.